How to add a pop-up window to Divi Pages, without any plugins. Let's get started. Add a new section. Inside that, we need a row with two columns. Let's start with the section. First, I label it as a pop-up. Next, I'm going to adjust the size to 50% width, and also set the alignment to the center. Then, set top and bottom padding to zero. Let's go to row settings. It is better to set it to full width and eliminate the padding around it. So, go to settings, design tab, and change max width to none. And then set the width to 100%. We also need to set the gutter width to 1, and equalize column heights. The next step is to add modules to the columns. I will add an image to the first column. There is some padding on top and bottom that needs to be removed, so go to settings and change padding to 0. Now, we go to the second column. I am going to change the background to solid black and then add my sign up form. I already have it in my library, so just call it from the library. What else I need for my pop up is a button to close it. I will use a close icon. I am changing color, size, alignments, and adding some margin to make it look nicer. Then, move it above the form. I'd like to add an option to decline subscription and close the pop-up. So, I am going to use a button for that. It should say, no thanks. Change font color and remove the border. This is all we need to make the look. The second part is to bring the section on top of other sections. So, Change the position to, fixed, bring it to the middle, and change the z-index to 100. I think a white border would be nice here. Now, we need to add animation to make it work the same as a pop-up. So, open settings, go to the design tab, and scroll down to the animation part. Choose fade style, put duration to 200, and add a delay because we don't want it immediately after page loading. OK, let's save and see how it looks so far. It works fine, but there is a problem. The close icon needs to be like a pointer on hover. To fix that, go back to icon settings, go to the advanced tab, and add some custom CSS. On the main element, click on hover icon and inside hover section, add this code. Okay, 
All done for the pop-up section. It's time to add some code to make the close button work. Add a new section. I want to change the position of the pop-up to default for now, just for easy access to other sections. OK. Then, I add a code module to the last section I have created. I am going to copy and paste the code I made earlier. This is a simple code just several lines. What it does is to run a function that hides the pop-up window when we click the close button. The first line is a link to the JavaScript library. Then there is our script. It runs when the document is fully loaded and targets elements with the class close btn, then calls a function named my function. My function is defined below and its job is to hide any HTML element that has my pop-up ID. So we just need to assign the defined class an ID to relevant elements. First we open our closing icon. Go to the advanced tab and add the close btn class to it. Then do the same for the other closing button. So what we need is that elements with close btn class hide the element with the my pop-up id. We still need to assign this id to the pop-up section. Open the pop-up section go to the advanced tab and add the ID in the CSS ID field. Save changes and see the result. I'm testing closing buttons and both work fine. The last step is to change the position of the section to fixed. That's it. You can find all codes in the description.